This is my homebrew uh, startup and shutdown controller. Uh, basically, right now the car is running, so the computer's on and everything's on the screen. But uh, this is basically a really handy device that I've made. Um, it allows you to start up or shut down the controller uh, computer when the car is on or off, and it's being controlled by a microchip and basically senses if the if the car is on, it's going to start up its startup sequence and the car is off, it's going to start up its hibernation sequence. So right now I'm going to turn off the car and in about 10 seconds it's going to start going into hibernation. And then after about a minute it'll turn off or um, kill the power switch. Um, that's just designed so that if the computer does not go into hibernation, the, it'll be a hard power off so it'll save battery life from the car. I just turn the car off and you'll see in a matter of maybe five ten seconds should go into hibernation there it is and while this is being hibernated uh, basically the pick is counting for a minute now and after a minute it's gonna cut off the whole power going into the computer and the monitor on the screen so after that the only power that's being drawn is the uh, pick which is always on as long as this switch is always on right here uh, and pretty much that's gonna sense if the car is gonna be on or off and I believe I checked the amount of current being drawn for the pick it's very very low it's like about 0 0.06 amps or so so it's not too bad at all but here again I'm gonna start the car up again and you should see that the power will go on to the to the computer and the LCD and it should start up uh, the computer as well. So you saw that power turn on. PC is turned on. Right here. And in a matter of moments we should see a screen anytime. There it is. And it's back up on the screen. So the advantage of this device is that pretty much if uh, like my I took actually took an old laptop that had a busted up L C D and a bad battery and all that stuff. Um, but the motherboard and CPU and everything else was work, working very well. So I pretty much just took that but I didn't have a good battery. I didn't want to invest in a battery and I had a lot of stuff laying around like a microchip and a few other components like relays and stuff and all the schematics are online so I was able to make this device pretty cheaply and um, pretty effectively too. Uh, there are so few bugs in it like sometimes it might take a little longer to start up and I'm try still trying to troubleshoot that problem uh, it, I'm feeling it's both the computer and the, the pick um, so be working on that um, and but besides that it's doing a pretty good job now and I think I'll keep this on my computer for a while but if you have any other questions uh, let me know and I'll be happy to answer that